Welcome back to another Joyride video. This video, we're upgrading our car trailer. We're getting something more good. We are going to take a family road trip all the way down to Georgia. It's gonna be a 12 hour drive. That's where the goodest deals were. That's what we're doing. We're taking a road trip. Enjoy. Good morning. Welcome back to another Joyride vlog. We got Alice all packed up, but we've got no trailer on the back. Normally when we take Alice out, we always got the car trailer behind us. We're on a trip without a car trailer. Where are we heading? Angel Oak Tree. Angel Oak Tree. Mission here is to go see this Angel Oak Tree that Laura's been wanting to see. And I figured, well, since we're gonna go down here and see this Angel Oak Tree, we might as well stop down in Douglas, Georgia, because it's not too far away. Since it's on our way, we're gonna go and pick up a new car trailer. We're going down here to go see this Angel Oak Tree that she wants to see. So this is a long drive just to see a tree. So kind of knock two things out at once. This is gonna be a, quite a bit of an upgrade from the previous car trailer that we had. Our previous car trailer was a 24 foot by eight and a half foot. We went with something a little big. I didn't want to go something too big and too crazy just because the RV is already big and towing. We just went just a few feet longer just to kind of give us a little extra space and we went with a few extra options. So it's four foot longer. That extra four foot is going to allow extra space for us to fit the golf cart and the car in their boat because that has been our dilemma. We go on trips we could either bring the golf cart or the car. The golf cart fit in our previous car trailer with the car in there, but it was way too close for comfort. So I just wasn't, just didn't feel comfortable doing that. Now we are going to pick up a little bit bigger trailer since we're already getting to be down there seeing her angel oak tree. Why you give me that look? Because we're going to get your trailer and then getting to stop at my tree. We're stopping to see the tree first. Okay. It's just a weekend trip. Hop in Alice and hit the road guys, enjoy. messy it is in here. Should, should I show everybody the mess in here? Huh? But look at these kiddos. Racked out. They are She cruises the best at 69. She's south of the border. People are stopping. Look at all these sunflowers. Right there south of the border. Contaminated soil, sunflowers. Really? exit for the guy that basically ripped my mom off stole her truck that's when we came to get the golf cart truck broke down dude stole my mom's truck come on Alice you got it motor home racing right here look at that the gasser can't keep up with them diesel we're only doing 79 look at this thing here comes that extreme you don't see those Chevy Extremes that often. We just arrived, Laura's spot. Drove all the way down here for this. We parked at this church because the road looked a little bit sketch as far as driving this big thing down it. I think it's a dirt road. It's a dirt road too. I'm glad we did this before picking up the trailer. Let's go. Huh? Like Charleston. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Yucky. Laura wants to go look at this graveyard. Come on, bud. He wants to just sit there and play. Look at that tree. That tree is kind of cool too. This looks like one of them like churches you see in a movie that people get married at. Logan's like, who is this guy? You guys ready to go see this tree? Does it remind you of that movie that we were in? That graveyard? No. Laura and I, we were in a movie. And we're not gonna tell anyone the title of the movie. 
We are in a movie, in a graveyard, coming out of a grave, chasing, I'm not even gonna say who because then they'll probably figure out who the movie, what movie it was. We were trespassing yeah. unknowingly in yeah, a cemetery Yeah, we didn't know. We thought that- a porn star. We thought that the, uh, because it's like a movie production company, we thought that they had the rights to be there. And then we found out later they didn't. <laughs> well, we found out when they all told us to go Oh like, yeah, hide. it was just weird. It was a blockbuster movie back when Blockbuster was out. That's how that's how long ago it was. And Laura and I, we were were we still in high school? Yes. Yeah, we were in high school. What were you guys being? What? What were we being? We were zombies. It was like a scary Halloween movie. So this is the road. So you come down this road right here. Liam, come on, bud. This is the road. It's a dirt road. This is why I did not want to drive the RV. You give me this GPS coordinates, bring me out here by a cemetery, a graveyard, and then we're going to walk down a road like this. This is not normal. You always say that about it's... places I want to go to. Because you never want to go to any place that's normal. Do you want to give them a, the history on this tree? It's huge. It's like one of the oldest oak trees on the east coast. The... the oldest oak tree is actually on the west coast, and it's like almost... It's like 1,500 or 2,000 years old, and this one's only 400 years old. Oh, wow. So is the other, which one's bigger? The one on the west coast is like, I think that one's bigger, because it's older too. Right, so. But I don't know which one covers more acreage, but this one's supposed to cover an acre. An entire acre like of shade. Like canopy sh covers an acre. Okay, so it, sh it shades an entire acre. See, if we would have had the golf cart, we could have just mm -hmm. zipped it through here. Yeah. I see a bunch of parking down there. Don't even. Do not, buddy. Because we got a car coming, and hopefully we don't get splashed. That'd be payback for that time I did that to somebody. Yeah. I did that to a family at King's Dominion one year when it was raining. I was a teenager. I would never do that now. We were in high school, went to King's Dominion, and there was a big puddle in the park. And I didn't realize the family was there in between their car either, or I wouldn't have done it. Redness! Well, they got like a little uh, store. I know you're gonna be in there spending a bunch of money. Mama. What? What? See, you weren't the only weirdo that wanted to come see it. much got ran out of here it started pouring there was a little bit of lightning and then now they're closing it so we gotta leave we got our uh, goodies and uh now we gotta walk back you ready to walk back in this all right so we made it back from the angel oak tree it started pouring on it it was pouring pretty bad it's still raining a little bit out here one good thing about having an rv we came back to the rv we all showered up now we feel <laughs> refreshed i feel a lot better now where are we going see i can't like, so we're gonna head to Douglas, Georgia. That's where we're picking up the car trailer. Same place we got the last trailer because we try to buy, hold on, hold on. When you try to buy trailer, we went to probably three different trailer places in my area because I kind of wanted to give them a shot, not drive 12 hours to go pick up a car trailer, but their prices are insane, insane. You can't even get a decent deal on one. This weather is so confused, it doesn't know what it wants to do. One minute it's raining, next minute it's super clear out and nice. Right on the edge of the storm. You can literally see the edge of it. That's wild. It's crazy because that side of the road is wet. This side is like kind of dry. That's wild. See that it's camping world. See that big flag? We got one. As big as that thing is, we cannot find My it. My buddy Barrett worked at Camping World and he gave me the flag. Well, that's the end of South Carolina. Made it to Georgia. So we just rolled up to the Walmart. 
we just arrived in Douglas, Georgia. That's how you know you're in the right area when <laughs> you see dudes with some car trailers. Now we gotta find a place to park. Just woke up, everyone else, they're all still asleep. The Walmart we stayed at was 2.4 miles away. I just literally pulled out of the parking lot. We're gonna go try to grab this trailer and get back home. Are you serious? The dog is just... Brought the whole family out this time. Yeah, How you doing? Out of it. Yeah. Good to see you again, man. Yeah, you too. I see you guys got the lot now. Yep, yep. We got a nice lot. I wish we had more trailers on the lot right now. We really don't have Well, it's a good thing because it means you're selling them. We don't, we don't stock a bunch of trailers either, man. We, yeah. we flip customer sold units. I like how that one's got the window in it. First look at the new trailer. What do you think? Got Elijah right here with Outlaw Cargo Trailer. You Got the big sign. So this is my first time actually at their lot because last time we actually picked up at the manufacturer. So this time we're picking up here at the lot. And if you guys want a trailer, a custom trailer, hit these guys up. Give me a call. Yep, all of their information will be in the video description below. And we're gonna take a look at this trailer and Elijah's gonna give us a tour of it. Show us, show us what we got going on over here. This is a 2024 SDG cargo trailer, eight and a half by 28. You got your charcoal gray, polycore exterior, screwless, no screws. Um, Which makes it nice. Torsion spread axle. You got your aluminum side vent so you can open and close them. Oh, wow. The last one was plastic mm -hmm. side vent. Steel rollers underneath. Yep. Little skid rollers, or they call them buggy wheels. Buggy. Now, this is a new siding, right? The polycore? It's, it's, so it's been out about two years now. Um, okay. So we've had time to test it and let it be on vehicle or trailers and, and see how it holds up and it's absolutely top of the line um you cannot beat the polycore on a cargo trailer it is an 080 thickness compared to an 024 or 030 um it's gonna hold up a lot better over time even if you do have screws you don't get spider cracks around your screw head but with the screwless you don't have to worry about it at all because normally on these trailers you get that wavy you don't get that on this show them that one there right That's there 030. see how smooth this looks No flex. It's old base frame paint, so you're not gonna have any rust. Wow. It's not gonna deteriorate. Dude, that's smooth. It's smooth. Yeah, because my other one had a little bit of surface rust and yeah, stuff. Absolutely. And this is the extended tongue. It is the uh, 60 inch triple tube tongue. 60 inch triple tube. Yeah, and I like how they framed it up around. Yeah, that looks so good. Loose ATV. Yep. Right your motor base plug. Oh, wow. So this is the RV plug right here. So you can plug straight from here to your power source. That's nice. They put the little drip tray up there. That thing looks sweet. Yeah, and this a lot nicer. Yeah, it it's about a foot taller than our last one because our last one was what six four six 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 six, six, six right, and then this one is what seven. seven. Wow. Three, a little first. Yep, and then I had them hold the flap because remember last time I took the flap off. That hinge on that flap is never, it's not ever that great. It's going to come off over time. Oh, and I like they put the black D-rings. And this is like nice. Wow. So this turns the rear wing light on? Okay. And they do the heavy duty receptacles. So we've got, don't don't step on this, buddy. This is the uh, panel for the other trailer and that Annie ran into. And this is your thermal cool sealing liner. So oh, sealing. so insulated. Dude, those things are nice. They're thin, recessed. It's got the nice step well right here that's what they call that right step, step well it is. step it's, well this is your base cabinet it's actually got the worktop on it so you can cut and do what you need to do up here and you don't have to worry about cutting into your, your cabinets they do have um, i went in and get them to run your wire too for your winch oh nice um, so we put so the you, winch in here we're ready to yeah, go you got your winch plate underneath wires already ran for work you got your access for your winch cable it's a big upgrade from the other one isn't it rv style panel box Sweet, and then you can even add, it's got mm -hmm. space to add. And they actually wrap their 110 line in a metal casing, so you don't have to worry about it rubbing yep. or going raw or anything like that. What is this piece right here? So I believe that is just additional parts that came with the toolbox. Okay, um, okay. Because they even put your, your wheel 
wheels and all in here. Oh, okay. So, all right, I see. So it's actually a toolbox kit. So they just kind of they just mount it to the floor. They take wheels off and mount it. Looks like it was. I mean, obviously it's factory built in here, but it looks like it's supposed to go there. Yeah, they uh, they mount the really toolbox good. first and then build the cabinet around it. What they do? This is something new. Um, this this uh, material? Yeah, so I've never seen this on the inside of a door or on the inside of an escape door. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if they started ordering from a new company, but uh, it is a higher quality door and escape door. Okay. Wire and brace for no seat. So if I add it, do I just cut? A hole, you do. right? And so we're already pre-wired in for AC unit, and then that's already going right to the panel box. Huge upgrade. The outside, it just looks so yeah, much cleaner and, and sleek. Uh, you know, most companies void their warranty when you go through it. Oh, they do. Yes. And titanium. Dye. Yeah, it's so nice, and then it's a lot nicer. Way nicer than our old ones. I'm gonna do some paperwork. Oh, you thirty dollars. But yeah, we got some swag, some merch. You ready, hun? Lena's <gasps> not. All right, well, let's go. Okay, first stop, we pretty much had to stop and tighten up all the wheel lugs. He says do it within the first 50 to 100 miles. Stop and just kind of check all the lug nuts, tighten them. Don't hit me with that thing again. Laura kind of got a little mad at me. I probably said some things I shouldn't have said and uh, she just hit me with the, uh... watch out for Laura. If she's got a breaker bar in her hand, do not go around her, do not go near her. You want to tell them what happened? I ran into a door. I can't even open it now. You can't open it? Yeah, this was open and I, ran right into it. Wasn't even paying attention it just like, walked right into this thing. It hurt. I think Bex did the same thing with the Audi. Yeah. Remember that? This is what a couple other people are You just like ran into the post. <laughs> like straight up walked right into This is what a couple Wasn't paying attention to the pool or oh, yeah. the pool. <laughs> We're just beating ourselves up between you falling in the garden. We're not easy on ourselves. Hit the road, we got a long drive. Once we get home, go over all the details on the trailer. We'll set them both side by side. This one versus our old one. Check back in once we get back to the house. You ready to make this video? Let's do it. So we made it back home. We've got both trailers right here in the driveway. We'll kind of walk through, kind of show you guys the difference between the two. Cause I know some of you guys are probably looking at it and are like, he just buy the exact same trailer. So those are for like the people that don't really pay too much attention to the trailer. Probably think we just went and bought the exact same trailer that we already had. It does look like that in a way. Quite a bit of a difference between the two. Almost basically double the cost. Would More you? than double. With this trailer, we did the spread axles. We did the polycore siding, screwless. It is an SDG trailer. This one is a diamond cargo. This is their blackout package with all the black. We went with the blackout package on this one as well. This trailer has a lot of upgrades. One thing I highly recommend upgrading anytime anybody orders one of these trailers. So by adding the extended tongue, it takes away at least 40 to 50% of the actual tongue weight on the vehicle. It actually feels like your vehicle is towing a lot less. Think of it like this. If you're trying to lift something up, it's almost like Leverage. It, it's leverage right like if you have a long breaker bar so you're not putting all that weight like right on the tongue of the vehicle so that's why i say that and plus with the rv i took a picture when you backed it in here when the rv and the trailer and you were like that and there was like space you're pulling in somewhere that goes down and up the top of the trailer can connect with the top of the rv if you don't have enough space between by getting that extended tongue pushing it out so that's one of the reasons why you want to go with that and in most of these trailer companies don't offer that extended tongue that's something that you have to ask for I'll throw up a picture of a non-extended tongue with an extended tongue i have done that on both of these trailers so we just cleaned this trailer out and it has the nice little step well inside here i did a little bit of e-tracks on the wall because that's what i put my toolbox and kind of strapped it to the wall and i need to get my sign move it over to the new trailer the uh, side escape door on this one d-ring hookups right here there is a winch plate it's underneath it's like a metal plate we never got around to adding the winch it does have the 5200 pound axles axles it's got the upgraded 030 charcoal gray aluminum eight and a half by 24 foot so we went a foot taller with this trailer so we are taller so we went four foot longer a uh, foot taller for loading the golf cart inside of it. Both 5,200 pound axles. The only difference is, is with this one, we went with a spread axle. I actually do kind of like the wheels on this trailer better, just because it's got the little triangle cutouts and those ones have round cutouts on the new trailer. Once you go over a 24 foot length, it is required 
through DOT to have the DOT tape along the bottom. So this trailer doesn't need it, and some people think it looks better without it. Obviously, I mean, kind of it does. But that's a good thing. You kind of want that there, and maybe if this trailer would have had it, Annie would have never ran into it. <laughs> It was that night. Yeah, when she backed into it. I basically did the exact same color because I really like that color and it never looks dirty. Well, I tried to find another color that I like. I just kept falling back to that gray. So I went right back to it. It's not about getting red, remember? Like a burgundy color, the color of the golf cart. But when I was looking at them, they really didn't look as good. I didn't really like it as much as the gray. And every time I was driving around with this trailer, I got so many compliments. I did put the flap back on because I'm prepping this trailer for sale for the race ramps. Oh. This is a used trailer, so I mean, I've had cars in here. And the best thing about these trailers, it's a mobile garage. Yeah, I was going to keep it and turn it into my mobile store. I mean, it's great for people, like if you've got multiple cars and you need an extra place to store a car. It's a mobile garage slash mobile car storage yeah. trailer. Me and Bex went to the flea market and we were looking at spots and everyone had trailers. You could just not have you sell this and just set it up to... So like, yeah, you can set up racks in like a mobile store. I mean, it's up to you if you want to do that. We yeah, can. so it's actually not for sale. Here is the panel. I did replace it. The new panel is on there. And oh, my mom is pulling up. Gosh. Hey mom, you want to say hi to the video? Hello, how are y'all? Hey. We got Michael over here. So this guy right here, you guys might not, not know this, but he works for a trailer company. We won't put the name of the company here, but you actually work for. Yeah, you didn't wear it? Yeah, he actually works for a local trailer company. You want to check out the trailer and tell him what you You've think? seen the old one. Here's the new one. Yeah, I got it on there. It's it's all right. He's going to look at my work and see how well I did. How's the panel look? It looks really good. Can't do any better than that. It's the black caulk. I am not the best at that. I'm not good at caulking. That's just not my area. Maybe if I'd have had a Bud Light in here. <laughs> it's probably built a little bit better than the ones we had. Yeah, this trailer's still dirty from when we got back from Georgia. That's why it's got dirt and road grime all over it. Here's the 50 amp RV hookup. So this one, we did add power to it because that trailer didn't have power in it. These are two different manufacturers. This is SDG. This one is Diamond Cargo. SDG is more known for um, concession trailers and they recently got into the car hauler market, I think a few years ago. Go. So I had to hop on the roof of the RV because I wanted to show you guys one other feature that this trailer has. See the roof? You've got multiple sections. Now you take a look at the new trailer. One solid cap. That's an upgrade. That's something you have to ask for. Doing something like this, it reduces possibilities for future leaks. Yeah, that's pretty wild. Isn't it crazy? That's a long piece of metal there. Yeah. <laughs> I added D-rings to the front, kind of threw some stuff in it from the old trailer. Yeah. These lights are awesome. And this is just running off the battery. You guys saw Elijah explain everything. Toolbox, and so now I don't have to mount my toolbox to the wall. And added the RV style panel box in here, so we can add anything. We can add plugs, we can do whatever we want. You can actually finish this thing out. It would've really been nice to go with like a 34 foot. Thought about going longer to where I could even fit two cars in there. But the motor home is already around 35, 36 foot long. And then adding 28 foot trailer to it, it's just, too long and i've already it's i've already been in situations where it was tight so i i just didn't want to go too much longer but i just went ahead and added four foot and then once i picked this trailer up and trailering it and driving it with the motorhome it felt no different than the old trailer trailering it and then pulling in places and stuff like that everything was pretty much the same that was a good thing because i was kind of wondering about that so the four foot i didn't even notice it if any of you guys are in the market or looking for a trailer of any sort i will put outlaw cargo trailer link in the description below so if you guys want to hit them up give them a chance i've already went through them twice elijah he's helped me out on both trailers i bought both of these trailers through them drove all the way down to georgia picked them up it's a high pretty much a waste of a weekend i want to say we probably spent around 600 bucks in fuel in the motorhome going there and back to me i think it's worth it if you want to get a good deal outlaw cargo trailer their information will be in the description below and hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'm going to bring it to a wrap and i will see you guys in the next video peace